Electricity is the backbone of our current worldwide infrastructure, powering everything from our homes and businesses to our transportation systems and communication networks. Our modern way of life would come to an interruption, resulting in major disruption and chaos if electricity were not available. However, have you ever considered the implications when issues arise? Today, we are exploring the important and intriguing subject of faults in electrical distribution systems. We will examine their nature, the reasons behind their occurrence, and the strategies we employ to ensure continuous operation. What is electrical fault? A fault in a distribution system represents an unidentified deviation from its established operating conditions. The issue may arise from several factors, including physical contact between lines that establishes a short circuit path transient contact with animals or birds, or contact resulting from wind and trees. Faults can cause power outages, damage to equipment, and safety hazards. Understanding faults is crucial for designing reliable systems and ensuring efficient operation. Now we will understand types of electrical faults. The issue may arise from several factors, including physical contact between lines that establishes a short circuit path, transient contact with animals or birds, or contact resulting from wind and trees. There are various types of faults that can occur in distribution networks, each with their own distinct causes and consequences. Let's explore these one by one. 1. Three-phase faults. Three-phase faults are short circuits between all three phases. They're the most severe and can occur with or without grounding. Three-phase faults can lead to high fault currents and significant damage to equipment if not quickly addressed. They are typically caused by factors such as equipment failure, lightning strikes, or human error. The effects of three-phase faults include power outages, equipment damage, and potential safety hazards for workers. Two two-phase faults. Two-phase faults involve short circuits between two phases or between a phase and neutral, often caused by damaged insulation or external objects. In contrast to three-phase faults, Two-phase faults involve short circuits between two phases or a phase and neutral. These faults are often the result of damaged insulation or external objects coming into contact with power lines. While less severe than three-phase faults, two-phase faults can still lead to power outages and pose safety risks to both workers and the public. For instance, if a damaged power line comes into contact with a tree branch, it could result in a two-phase fault causing a localized power outage. Three. Single-phase faults. Single-phase faults typically involve a phase coming into contact with the ground. They can lead to homopolar currents, limited by ground resistance. When it comes to power system faults, single-phase faults are commonly caused by a phase coming into contact with the ground. These faults create homopolar currents that are constrained by ground resistance. While single-phase faults may not be as disruptive as three-phase faults, they can still impact power distribution and create safety hazards. For example, if a power line touches the ground due to damaged insulation, it could cause a single-phase fault resulting in localized power outages. The last one is neutral conductor failure. In low-voltage networks, a broken neutral conductor can unbalance the system. Some phases may experience higher voltages, while others drop. Neutral conductor failure refers to the situation in low-voltage networks where the neutral conductor breaks, leading to an imbalance within the system. This imbalance can cause certain phases to experience higher voltages while others drop, potentially disrupting power distribution and creating safety hazards. This type of fault can significantly impact the reliability of the electrical system and needs to be identified and addressed promptly to prevent further issues. After we knew about fault types in electrical networks. Now, let's discuss classification of electrical faults in power systems. Faults in electrical power systems represent abnormal conditions that disrupt normal operation. Each fault type exhibits unique characteristics and requires specific responses from protection systems. The classification below provides a detailed analysis. 1. Self extinguishing faults. These faults are temporary by nature and naturally dissipate without intervention within a short duration, typically less than 100 minutes. They do not require the operation of protective devices or system resets. Characteristics Caused by transient external conditions Minimal or no damage to the power system infrastructure 
automatically cleared due to system stability or environmental factors. Example. Atmospheric disturbances. Wind-blown debris momentarily bridging conductors, but removed by natural forces like gravity or wind. Impact on system. Minimal impact on reliability since no protective action is needed. 2. Transient faults. Transient faults occur momentarily and require protective devices to operate, but they are typically resolved quickly without manual intervention. These faults are followed by an automatic service recovery process. Characteristics 1. Short-lived faults that do not cause lasting damage. 2. Often associated with a breakdown of gaseous insulins under high voltage, followed by natural restoration of insulating properties. 3. Cleared automatically by circuit breakers or reclusing mechanisms. Example 1. Wildlife contact, birds or small animals temporarily bridging conductors. 2. Insulation breakdown, lightning strikes causing temporary overvoltage. Impact on system. 1. Minimal downtime. Automated mechanisms restore service quickly. 2. No permanent system damage. 3. Semi-permanent faults. Semi-permanent faults require protective devices to operate and may need one or two resets by automatic recovery mechanisms. These faults arise from conditions that are more persistent but still self-limiting over time. Characteristics 1. Faults caused by external factors that degrade or clear with time. 2. Typically resolved without manual intervention after multiple resets. Example. Vegetation growth. Branches brushing against power lines and burning off during fault currents. Impact on system. Temporary outages. Multiple resets may cause brief interruptions. 4. Permanent faults. Permanent faults cause significant disruption and cannot be resolved automatically. These faults require manual intervention by operators to restore service. Characteristics 1. Persistent faults that result in physical damage to infrastructure. 2. Protection systems isolate the faulted section, but service restoration requires repairs. Example 1. Underground cable damage, excavation equipment cutting cables. 2. Storm damage broken poles or conductor severance due to high winds. Impact on system. 1. Prolonged outages. Repair time depends on the severity of the fault. 2. High maintenance and restoration costs. 5. Evolutive faults. Evolutive faults begin as single-phase faults and gradually escalate to involve multiple phases. These faults are often due to progressive deterioration of system components. Characteristics. 1. Initiated by minor insulation issues or mechanical stresses. 2. Gradually worsen, causing cascading faults. 3. Require prompt intervention to prevent further escalation. Example. Insulation failure. Aging insulation deteriorating under load stress, leading to multi-phase arcing faults. Impact on system. 1. Potentially catastrophic if undetected, can cause large-scale outages. Two highlights the need for regular system monitoring. 6. Intermittent faults. Intermittent faults occur repeatedly over time, often due to environmental or mechanical conditions. These faults are temporary but can cause recurring disruptions. Characteristics 1. Periodic in nature, triggered by specific environmental conditions. 2. May require system monitoring to identify root causes. Example 1. Swaying conductors, overhead lines contacting tree branches during windy conditions. 2. Loose connections, vibrating equipment causing temporary faults under certain load conditions. Impact on system. 1. Difficult to diagnose, can cause frequent interruptions. 2. Preventive measures, such as vegetation management or line tightening, are often necessary. Understanding faults in electrical distribution systems is vital for building a resilient and reliable grid. By identifying, managing, and preventing faults, we ensure the continuous flow of electricity that powers our daily lives. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more insights into electrical systems.